I'm a historian. As you know that historians, we work with historical facts. But all these documents that we discovered in the archives, they don't necessarily speak the truth. And so it's just a way of approaching and approximating truth. So this is very important for us in terms of learning. I had a background of clinical medicine. I was trained as a physician before becoming a historian. I'm now currently teaching at Cross College Elite Program, but also jointly appointed by Department of Social Medicine and Medical Humanities at the School of Medicine. Mad by the Millions, it took me six years to complete the book. And it was about how the World Health Organization managed to classify mental disorders and to really ratify a system of language in mental health, in psychiatry, for the world to use after the Second World War. Because after the war, the whole world was devastated by the Great War, of course, the Holocaust, the atomic bombing. And then so mental health experts, they were aware that people in the world, we all were prone to develop certain kind of mental disorders or mental disturbances. For historians of science, that this is a special book that was written from two perspectives. One is from the perspective of international organizations. But from another angle, I mean, this is also a book. I've got some chapters written through the lens of Taiwan. Readers, perhaps, they have to be familiar with world history and they need some degree of knowledge about science, technology and society so that they can enter the book easier. The first two books that I'm introducing, edited by my good friends, and now the history of psychiatry and also the sociology of psychiatry or psychological sciences have become a popular school that there are a lot of colleagues and students are researching in. And then the second book I am introducing is Madness in the Family. She basically said that this was a practice that showed a kind of a common care that was offered by not only psychiatrists themselves, but also there were women who actually spent a lot of time taking care of patients. And this was about how to use newly unearthed uh, political archives in Taiwan. So this book is a guidebook for you to enter these archives and for you to really look at unspeakable pasts were documented. In Taiwan, we have a spirit of unwillingness, mgamwan. We are unwilling to be oppressed. We are unwilling to be blinded by lies. So we make our effort to find the fact that approximate the truth. And so, and truth will make you free.